Sacred Saint podcast. I hope you all have had a blessed day so far, and I will be praying this week that you have productive weeks and a restful Sunday. Today we are going to learn about the story of Saint Marcella of Rome. Saint Marcella of Rome was a noble woman. She was declared a saint and canonized by the Vatican for her role in founding the Christian monogastic system. Monogastic schism is practiced today as a system where religious devotees renounce their worldly possessions and declare their lives to God. They live together in monasteries under religious rules that vary according to sect. St. Marcella was born in Rome in 325. She was the founder of the first religious community for women in the Catholic Church. She was born to a high-ranking aristocracy family in Rome. Her father died when she was very young, so he had little impact on her life, though I am sure his death impacted her in many ways. St. Marcella was also the daughter of Albina, who was very supportive of her daughter and her decisions. St. Marcella was married to a man following her father's death. They were married for about seven months until he tragically passed away. After he sadly died, St. Marcella was pursued by an ex-consul named Caesarus. It is said that he was interested more in a father-daughter relationship with Marcella rather than a traditional marital relationship. It said he wanted a daughter to leave his estate to. St. Marcella declined his offer of marriage. It said that she felt that marrying him would be a greedy action on her part. She felt that religiously she was supposed to embrace her widowhood and live a life of a Christian woman who abandoned material pleasures of the Roman elite to which she was born. With her mother and good friend Priscilla, Priscilla, St. Marcella retired to her house on Aventine Hill in Rome. There, the three came to live a rule adapt from the monastic foundation of the year. As St. Marcella's fame in Rome grew, she attracted many women of the time to join her in a life of seclusion. This grew to become the first organized community of Christian women living together according to religious rule. This community was led and financially supported by Marcella. The women of this organization were devoted to charitable works and the study of Christian scripture. St. Marcella was not only the founder of her Christian women's community, but she also was a great intellectual of her time. She took the opportunity in her position to pose many philosophical questions about scripture that had confused her and her community. St. Marcella lived out her life in well-established routine until 410. In 410, Rome was attacked by the Visigoths, whose king sought out Marcella as she posed great hidden wealth. The king did not know, though, that St. Marcella had, St. Marcella's estate had been distributed through the funding of her charitable works. The king Thank you.